Feels like a long time since I've talked about this game. What's up, everybody? Do right back at it again with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about 83. Those of you that don't know what 83 is, 83 is a Cold War gone hot combined arms first person military shooter with high player counts currently in development at Antimatter Games. If you're someone that liked the Rising Storm series, then this could be your next game to get into. It's a game that I've been covering on the channel for a while now, but I only cover them whenever they decide to actually release something. And they don't usually release a whole lot, but when they do, it's usually a freaking banger. And that's what this is today. Today we're going to be looking at the video that they just dropped about two days ago as of the recording of this uh, video here. It's called 83 Through the Gun Sights VFX Development and Workflow. So already with that freaking intro man, so much stuff just happened in that. Let's take a look at that again. Let's see, we got a bunch of explosions, which I am to assume that that's off map artillery. Moving on to the next clip, we see a cinder brick looking wall. It looks like it kind of exploded or it's as if something is coming through the wall. Could that be a tank rolling through a cinder brick wall? right there then it cuts to the next clip and we see a guy in a jeep running through a wooden fence and as he's like turning you can see the freaking vehicle I forgot what you call the tracks the vehicle tracks as if he's like sliding i don't think i've seen too many games do that and then we see a guy lob a grenade at what looks like a tower and then it cuts to an ak shooting out windows which you can actually see the glass fall down which looks pretty cool more explosions we see a fence being destroyed by ak fire oh and then we see gore look at all that the leg is twisted off to the left there and that almost Almost looks like a boot but it's actually a foot we got a detached arm there and arm laying next to the dude's helmet is then it comes to another clip right here where he's just kind of like looking in the dirt nothing too significant there oh wait no we can actually see the blood kind of linking right there like the blood's kind of leaking outwards onto the grass for like a split second then it cuts to a tank we actually get to see a tank shoot the tank shoots for like a split second and showed a little clip of the tank shooting at another tank i assume hitting it on the side then it cuts really fast back to the uh tower and we see the tower completely collapse Oh my goodness, is this game gonna actually have destructible environments on a UE4 game? That would be nuts. Oh, so now we're gonna get into the video portion of uh, this video. It says here, this video contains scenes of graphic blood, gore, and injury detail. Fair enough. All footage presented in this video is pre-alpha. Really? Oh, it looks pretty good for pre-alpha. So we get the first guy that talks here. His name is Adam Walkiewicz. Sorry if I butcher your name. He appears to be the producer. Let's see what he has to say. They're saying for the next couple of episodes, they're gonna be focusing on specific things today they're going to be starting out the series with visual effects so then he hands it up to the next guy but before we do that let's take a look at what was actually shown there hold on for like a split second they show off like some sort of explosion but it looks like i don't want to say white phosphorus maybe just like smoke mortars maybe but yeah that's definitely a lot of smoke there and that's pretty much the big thing that they showed off there there was a couple of other things but nothing too significant as far as i could tell so let's push on to the next guy here who starts talking this guy is phil i don't even want to pronounce their names anymore <laughs> but he appears to be the vfx artist let's see what he has to say he is the main vfx artist working on 83 and before i continue on i kind of want to talk about the stuff that they just showed off as it was talking over the b-roll we see like one of the russian soldiers here kind of like looking towards the camera it doesn't look like he's fully textured and then we see like a tank actually shoot off here you can see like the dust clouds go up when it shoots that reminds me a lot of freaking squad because the dust would like go everywhere as soon as it takes a shot that's pretty neat and then it shows that the camera is like attached to the back of the this jeep and you can see like the dust flinging outwards and also I, oh yeah, there's a little detail right there where you can see like the gas coming out of the nozzle there neat so anyways let's continue on here the last thing that i want to talk about is this picture right here it looks like there are set pieces that you can actually destroy you see you got a wall here with multiple of this yellow stuff right here that i'm sure you can knock down you got a bunch of buildings in the background over there which if you can knock down all those buildings that'd be freaking cool then there's also like this floor right here can you like destroy the floor too that'd be neat what are all those buildings that you can destroy then it cuts to like a bunch of more stuff we got a guy walking backwards as you see like a bunch of smoke you see a tank barrel shoot is there an impact i don't think there's an impact or at least not that i could see and then it cuts to a bunch of smoke going up in the air as if there's like a bunch of things that are smoking and then it cuts back to the guy here he says one of the aspects that he wants to really talk about is destruction and then it cuts to a dude flinging off a grenade Ooh, and then you see the wall just kind of fall apart there. I mean, that looks pretty good, but I kind of hope that when it actually does fall apart, it falls apart where the grenade is actually set towards the bottom there. Okay, so so they're just showing off the freaking walls getting destroyed, but they all basically look the same. It's like a copy and paste job. I thought that was kind of funny where you just shot the AK and just blew up the goddamn wall right there. Like, oh, wow. So they're basically looking at ways to try and see how they can add more destructible stuff into the game. Like, they're in a way kind of cheating, I guess you'd call it. So initially, they started with Chaos and Apex Pro 
prototypes, but then they felt like it wasn't like practical enough in such a large scale multiplayer game. So they switched over to non-dynamic systems. And the one that really stood out to him was Vertex Animation. So basically what they do is they make the model and the destruction in this, and then they import it into UE4. So it's basically like a set piece. And because the textures are relatively small, it doesn't take up a whole lot of memory. So they're actually able to do a lot more with it than had they had done it a different way. The overhead is apparently non-existent. It's extremely light. And because of that, they can do many different elements at once. And as you can see, the dude is like shooting out the freaking windows that are right there without the whole thing collapsing. So they're completely taking the mesh that was falling apart stuff and they're adding on to it. That's freaking cool, man. So that seems to be it for their destruction part of the game. It's not Battlefield 5 level of destruction, but it's the next best thing. And it really adds to the game. So uh, let's go ahead and push on here. The next thing that they're going to be talking about here is explosions. According to them, in order for them to actually do explosions, they wanted to get references. So they went in and they found a bunch of references online, I'm assuming, of grenades, artillery fire, aerial bombardment, you know, all the cool stuff. And they modeled everything after that in the Unreal Engine. He began working in Amagen, Amagen, A-M-A-G-E-N, and he hasn't stopped using it since. He's been developing sprite sheets with it. He says that Amagen has been incredibly helpful for speed and iteration, explosions in general, and smoke, and that's pretty much that. And he goes on to talk about how smoke and explosions are really interesting for him because you're trying to find like a balance between efficiency and but still to convey the personality and main body of the explosions and smokes that they're making he says that they're just going to keep pushing until they get as good quality effects as they can from all these explosions and that's pretty much that for explosions let's push on to the last thing here the last thing that they want to talk about here is gore as he guns down someone in cold blood so so he says here that gore is a bit of a challenge in a different kind of way versus being technical because it's more about conveying to the player the right amount of visual aids versus clutter to just kind of immerse the player as much as possible they're kind of developing many different elements of gore from dismemberment to bleeding to blood spreading on uniforms and putting them all together to see what's working and what isn't and looking at it it's kind of cool you can actually see the knife cuts into the dude's leg and also you can see some of the bullet wounds in the dude's leg there too legs getting blown off and all that it also shows that you can actually shoot someone and blood hits the wall behind them blood will spill out all around they're just really going in depth with this i quite like this a lot they said that they've brought some gore in from the previous game which was rising storm 2 i'm assuming and they're adding on to that because it's been really built up and it's really nice to see the kind of combinations and elements working together so yeah that looks pretty good and that's pretty much the end of the video that they have there the rest of it is just them talking about you know everything that we already talked about and them signing off afterwards so yeah that's another video for 83 in the books what are your guys' thoughts is this a game that you're still looking forward to or is it kind of just off your radar now let me know what you think down in the comments below because i'm gonna head on out if you enjoyed the fact that i cover games like 83 then be sure to like the video share the video and comment down below for someone that's new to the channel be sure to subscribe and ding the bell we're almost about to hit 10k help me out come on now please if you're someone that would like to support the channel check out my patreon just send two bucks a month it really helps and with that all being said i want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and i guess i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye